Hey guys, I'm going to go over my mill deck. I went to two pre-releases and I played mill in both pre-releases and it was very, very good. Two lids, uh, this card is the best. Uh, it can dominate a game just by itself. And in combination, these two cards work extremely well together. So I played mill both times and both times I won or I split. Essentially we split top four and then I won the second one. Oh no, I didn't win the second one. I finished in second place, but there was already a split involved, so it wasn't a big deal. This card I love to death. It's very good, especially when you're making tokens. It Essentially, it is removal. Uh, this card is very good too, and as you're gonna see, this one of my favorite cards. Very, very powerful. And you offer to trade blocks, and obviously it triggers the tutelage, but drawing the card is so relevant and limited because uh, it gives you better card advantage. It gives you mo more removal. It allows you to find artifacts when you need to. The deck was insanely good. Uh, removal, removal, dragon fodder. We have two of these only. Uh, we got two of this card. So I do want to talk about this card a little bit. It just blocks for days. Like it blocks for days. There's no other way for me to say it except it's so good. Four power for four. And you can block like crazy. So we had two of these cards, which is very good. Um, some of the cards were less than ideal because it is limited. And this card to trigger the, car, the draw. I believe everything else is land. The mill is a very efficient mechanism. And I won all my games using mill. And I did extremely well. But this was my probably my best deck. I have another deck that was a mill deck, but it had a bomb. It had the ring of discipline. And that was a bomb, so it could also kill you, but it was kind of a weird deck because like you could do both. This deck just beats you by milling. And these are just tiny blockers. The life gain is relevant. This card is very good. This card is just a blocker. These are blockers, blockers, removal, removal. This card is insane. Uh, it's just so good. And foil, they did a really good job on the foil of these cards. I'm very impressed. So I was very, very happy to pick up one in foil at my pre-lease. That's actually probably the happiest moment. Like, I didn't open anything good at the two pre-releases I went to. Well, Call of the Moon is just kind of, it's not, I wanted it to be good, and it is good if you turn one drop the little 1-1 one, one flyer, and then you put this on it, but otherwise it's not that great. I did want to get a few more copies of this card, but you can't really, I mean, Double tutelage means uh, I consider the first time I played it, I didn't know how strong it would be because I was like, okay, I don't have Jace. This is om my only mill cards are these two cards. What happens if I don't get these two cards? Well, you have so much card draw that you do get them. And by the time that you get them out in field, you can just activate it for six and it just goes bonkers. So don't, when I was able to get two in a field, I've never lost, right? Um, one in a field, you can still lose. If you don't have any on the field, you're going to lose. So you have to draw into these, but you have a lot of stall mechanics. And essentially, even on the play, like the first turn you could play this possibly would be you'd already drawn 10 cards. So unless you get, but then you can also draw more cards. A lot of these cards are mainly, this one draws cards for you. So the card draw is probably the most important part of this type of mill strategy. Uh, so this is kind of, it does draw you cards. Um, this one kind of draws you a card. It does scry and it prevents them from uh, attacking you or doing something that turn. That draws you cards. This one draws you cards. This, I've never activated to draw me cards, but I guess it could. Uh, this would draw you cards and these two would draw you cards. So already you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 cards in this particular deck that can draw you cards and everything else, 11 cards like that, one being a removal type of scry mechanism. This card was very good actually. I didn't get to play that often, but when I did, it was a blowout because it just buys me time. And blockers, you have some removal. Your removal is not um, in any means ideal. But four pieces of removal, all kind of met, 
is good enough and then your creatures just make your creatures just make tokens to block with and then you're trying to mill but it worked i mean i played mill both times and i finished second in my most recent pre-release and i split top four in my first pre-release so like why not it does work